Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Tom Froze. I'm an illustrator and a top teacher on Skillshare where I've helped over 100,000 students unlock the world of commercial illustration. Welcome to the channel. So today I am going to talk about using Photoshop for large format illustrations and murals. Now, this is a little bit of a departure from my usual content, which is more about, you know, motivation, inspiration and strategy type stuff. But today I'm going to go and do an actual demo to answer a question that I get asked from time to time. And I was asked it again recently. So I thought, why not just uh, make a video about it? So the question is, how do you use Photoshop when you're making large format illustrations? Uh, say for a mural, something that gets blown up real big. And the question really is based on the fact that, you know, when you're working in a program like Photoshop, which is a raster based program, do you have to work in high resolution? And, and so we know that print resolution is 300 dots per inch. So when you need to make an illustration or you're taking a photo and you need to, you know, throw that in a layout of a magazine or something, the resolution needs to be 300 dpi at minimum. Now that's usually, you know, something small, something maybe like eight by 10 or a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller perhaps. But then when you're working in a large format mural, you're getting up into like 10 feet, 15 feet, 20 feet wide. At 300 dpi, that's gonna be a very large file. So the question is, do you need to work at 300 dpi when you're working at these large scale murals? And the Answer is no, you don't. You definitely don't. In fact, when I work on these murals, I work as low as 25 DPI. More commonly, I'll work at 50 DPI or dots per inch. And I'll explain how this works. So when you are designing for print, you're illustrating for print, you, or if you need a photo, whatever it is, it needs to be at 300 DPI. Uh, so it has enough resolution that when you're looking at it, it doesn't look blurry or pixelated or you don't see like little dots or whatever when you're looking at the image. And that's because the, the magazine you're looking at is a foot away from your face. The further away a surface goes from your face, the lower the resolution you can actually get away with. So of course, you never look at a mural right up close in the, in the same distance that, you're, that you would be looking at a, a magazine or something. In fact, you're probably looking at it more like, I don't know, five feet away, six feet away, sometimes 10, 20 feet away. Uh, it's oftentimes even further away. You walk into a, a room where there's a, something painted or printed on the wall. It's gonna be far back there. You're not gonna notice any dots at all, even at a very low resolution. So that's really how it works. So the question is, if you wanted to make a mural for something really big, what does that look like? So I'm gonna just show you what I worked on recently This that brought up this question in the first place. And here we're looking at a mural that I did and it's in a liquor store in Vancouver. The store is called the Fraser Commons Liquor Company. And you can see it's about, uh, I'm gonna say 12, 13 feet there. And again, there's another large version of one of my illustrations on another one of their walls here. Again, about 12 or 13 feet total width, even though it's curved around there. And you can just uh, take a look here at some of the original pieces that I made. That's what they look like flat on my computer. Now looking at the uh, actual working file here where I have all my layers and whatnot, uh, I'll just show you when I open the image properties by pressing command option I, you can see that the image size is only 12.8 inches by eight inches at a resolution of 600 DPI. So I did work at a relatively high print resolution for something as small as 12.8 inches by eight. But the question is, how does this scale up to, you know, basically this, these are in inches, 12.8 inches. How do I get something to work in 12.8 feet? And really, if I just, I told you that I work as low as 50, actually I work as low as 25 dots per inch, but usually more I work at 50 DPI, that's usually sufficient for a wall mural. If I just, in image size, switch the resolution from 600 and I type in 50 dots per inch, you can see that 
if I'm not resampling the image, the width and height increase in, in proportion. So now we're looking at 150, almost 154 inches by 96 inches. And surprise, surprise, 153.6 inches divided by 12 inches per foot gives me 12.8 feet. So what I worked on at 600 DPI on my computer at 12.8 inches in real world at a resolution of 50 DPI ends up being 12.8 feet. One inch in my working file equals one foot in the real world. And so that is really what's going on here. And I'll, I'll, I'll show you again how I would make a, a file if I was starting from scratch. Let's just say I need to make a file that's 20 feet by 10 feet. So 20 feet wide, 10 feet wide. Let's just create a new file in Photoshop. I'm gonna start by making it uh, 20 feet. 20 feet times 12 is 240 inches by 12, 12 feet, sorry, 12 inches times 10 feet, that's 120 inches tall. And my resolution should be 50. If I were to make this 300 DPI here or 600 DPI, this file is gonna get pretty big and I think my computer will crash. So I'm not even gonna try because I don't wanna lose, I don't wanna lose the, the recording here. So I'm gonna go to 50 DPI and create that file. Now again, 240 inches is 20 feet. 120 inches is 10 feet. So you can do the reverse math if you need to. Here is our 20 by 10 foot image that we'd be working with. Now, let's just do some, some kind of thing here. Here's my art. I can make layers. Everything's pretty manageable. If I was working on a giant file, there would be so much lag here. It would be unbearable. There's a little bit of lag here, even at this uh, smaller size, but you know, this is gonna be 20 by 10 feet, so it's not bad. So I'm just, you know, this is hypothetical. Let's just save this and see how big this file is. So I'm just gonna call this 20 by 10 art, save it. And why don't we just see how big that file is? Now I've just added a couple layers and it's a uh, hundred megabytes, under a hundred megabytes. And then we're talking like a huge 20 by 10 large format print. Now, if I were to um, take away all those layers, the file itself actually wouldn't be surprisingly small. We're looking at 3.4 megabytes, just the like blank canvas. Once you start adding, you know, art and layers and stuff, the file does get bigger. But honestly, the, the, the files that I'm working in that I sent to this client and they ended up printing them, putting them up huge on their wall, uh, this file is 467.6 megabytes. Some of the files I sent them were actually under 200 megabytes, but that's a, that's a lot of layers, first of all. If, if you look at the amount of layers and information that I'm packing into this file, all kinds of stuff in there. And so under 500 megabyte, megabytes is pretty small. If I was working at 300 DPI at that larger size, we'd be in the hundreds of gigabytes easily. So going back to this sample file that I made, um, let's just, again, look at the dimensions. We're looking at 240 inches by 120. You can see that the pixel size, pixel dimensions are 12,000 by 600,000, or 6,000, I should say, 12,000 by 6,000. If I want to make this 300 DPI without changing the pixel dimensions, pixel dimensions are the same, but now I've increased the, the effective resolution. Now we're down to 40 by 20 inches. So just under four feet wide. And now I'm gonna go up to 600 DPI. And now we're at 20 by 10 inches. One inch at 600 DPI equals one foot at 50 DPI. 
So one one way that you might find helpful to think of this is um, think about uh, concentrated orange juice. So 600 dpi is too much resolution for a, a 12 inch wide image, like 600 dpi is overkill. It's kind of like the way concentrated orange juice in the can is overkill. There's too much flavor in that little can. But once you, you know, stick it in a jug and add four more cans full of water and stir it up, suddenly you get a lot more juice. That juice really fills up and when you drink it, it tastes just right. It tastes like freshly squeezed orange juice or or so so you hope. And that's kind of the way you know, working at 600 DPI at a smaller screen resolution in Photoshop works. You, you're, it's, it's a little bit too much resolution for on screen. You only really needed probably 300 DPI, but then you blow it up real big. It's 50 DPI. It's like adding water to the concentrated juice mix and then it tastes just right. But of course you have to be standing a little bit away. Nobody stands at a wall and judges it just by looking up real close. Anyway, thank you so much for watching my little demo here. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please be sure to like and leave a little comment letting me know how it helped. And if you wanna see more videos from me, please subscribe, ding the bell. And just so you know, I also teach illustration on Skillshare. You can find all my classes at tomfroze.com teaching. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.